Okay, everybody, we're going to look at the CEC rules for lights and switches, section 30. I'm just going to look at a few of them so that you can get this project to a wiring project done. 30-002 under special terminology speaks to a recessed light fixture. And if you're going to install that into, an, say, an attic space that has insulation in it, you're going to need to make sure that those are type IC insulation. And if they were just installed between floors, say between the in the, in the ceiling space above uh, your main floor and your second floor where there isn't going to be insulation, then it's not necessary to get type IC. 30-102 tells us that branch circuits for lighting shall not exceed 150 volts to ground in a residential unit. 30-204, when we're installing a light in a closed closet, we have to be really careful with the position of that light. So we're allowed to put them on the ceiling. Often they're on the front wall, so just above the door as you're walking in. You're not allowed to use a pendant type or have bare bulbs. We're just worried about those, that heat from the incandescent bulbs getting too close to your clothes and causing a fire. 30-500, we need to install an outside light at every entrance and it has to be switched. 30-502 indicates that we need to install a light in every room and it must have a switch. Now, the exception to that is, say, in a master bedroom or a bedroom where you have switched plugs, then you don't have to have an overhead light. Be careful, though, if you're switching the plugs in a bedroom, that you only switch half of that receptacle so that the other half can meet the rules of the distancing, maximum distance between receptacles. 30-504 speaks to a set of stairs. If your stairs have four risers or four steps um, or more, you have to install three-way switches at the top and the bottom of those stairs. 30-712 um, talks about how many lights you can put on a lighting circuit. And often for dwelling units, we just go with the rule of 12. Nowadays, with LEDs, things are changing. The rule itself says luminaires connected to a lighting circuit shall not exceed 80% of the branch circuit over current device. Now, there are some other rules in section 30. It talks about um, needing a light in your carport or garage. And um, also, if lights, if the light is that you're installing or going to install is going to be very heavy, then you want to check the rule uh, in section 30 to make sure that you have the correct type of box and the right support for that light. That won't, those, those rules don't uh, bother us for this exercise, but they're nice to know that we have those. And these are rules out of the 2018 code.